All new at five, a Central Florida woman is among the thousands of unemployed people still locked out of their DEO account. Beth Sampson has thousands of medical bills and no way to pay them, but that is all about to change. She called News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld for some help. He joins us now in the newsroom with this story. Hey, Mike. Thanks, Matt. Hi, everyone. Beth Sampson's life really has been turned upside down with a medical diagnosis and a DEO account locked and, frankly, untouchable. Well, she's not alone. The DEO tells me Sampson is one of nearly 272,000 claimants with an account locked for potential fraud, even after clearing identity verification. Since January, I've been in the hospital four times. When doctors diagnosed Beth Sampson with Crohn's disease earlier this year, she admits her financial independence was shattered. I'm 52 years old. I've worked 34 years of my life, if not more. So I'm definitely not used to this. She was the office manager for a seafood company in Merritt Island for the last nine years. Even designed the new company logo and then that diagnosis. It's extremely frustrating. I've racked up over $36,000 in medical bills this year. Like so many other Floridians, she surrendered independence to unemployment benefits. But her DEO account is locked with this notation. Additional information is needed to confirm your identity. As of this month, I haven't been able to to claim anything. Despite getting clearance via an ID.me video call back on June 7th, Beth Sampson's identity is being questioned again, freezing $1,700 in benefits. It said that I would have to wait for response from DEO within 48 hours, and I'm still waiting. The majority of this is because of fraud. State Senator Linda Stewart was back in Tallahassee to meet with DEO Director Dane Eagle. Her office is getting the same feedback News 6 has been reporting for the past month. DEO accounts are unlocked, then locked again, following ID.me verification. We have imposters trying to hit the same accounts? A lot of them. There's thousands of them. Thousands of imposters. That is creating a critical situation. In fact, News 6 has learned nearly 272,000 accounts, just like Beth Sampson, are locked because of potential fraud. The DEO is implementing a new system where claimants already verified with ID.me yet still locked out can notify the department. They'll have a drop-down menu where they can verify who they are and then get back in line for their money. Oh, here we go. We have good news. Beth Sampson's wait is over. The DEO has unlocked her account. She's going to get that money. In fact, I spoke to the DEO today, and she will be able to request all of her benefits. One more thing, that DEO link that I showed you, it's running right now, and I have a link for you at clickorlando.com. So we understand you're frustrated. Now we know why, what's going on, and we're working on it to get your money and reopen all those accounts. Lisa? It's a big relief for a lot of people, Mike. Thank you. Sure.